remaining 20 minutes, Romania and Sweden are deadlocked at two all in their quarterfinal match of USA 94. Under the blazing Californian sun, it's shootout time. When Hack and Milt missed and Romania scored their first three, Sweden were facing their own high noon and praying for a hero. I thought beforehand that if I saved one or two penalties, I might become a hero. But during the penalty shootout, I didn't think about that at all. I was living simply for that moment. And all other thoughts had gone. Romania were out, Sweden were through, and Thomas Ravelli had become the national hero to answer Sweden's prayers. Tommy Svensson's team lost in their semi-final against Brazil, but their 4-0 demolition of Bulgaria in the third-place playoff confirmed USA as Sweden's finest hour. On their return to Gothenburg, the team, and Ravelli in particular, received a spectacular welcome. In the States, their free-flowing football had cast off their image as unimaginative and functional, and their celebrations were similarly uninhibited. For Ravelli and the six other Gothenburg-based players, it was a particularly emotional experience. Uh, say. I felt incredibly happy that I'd got something out of the game after playing for so long. I was so touched that all I was thinking about was trying to keep my eyes dry. The sort of welcome we got from the general public is only ever experienced by a few people. The first golden experience of Thomas Ravelli's long career came in 1981. Playing for Usters alongside his twin brother Andreas, they won the championship and Thomas was voted Swedish Player of the Year. Both Ravellis were also chosen for the national squad, but personal triumph was not matched by national success. Sweden failed to qualify for the World Cups in 82 and 86. They did reach Italia 90, but may have wished they hadn't bothered. Defeats by Brazil, Scotland, and worst of all, Costa Rica saw the Scandinavians heading home early. I let six goals in during that tournament. I don't think I was to blame for any of the goals, but maybe with a bit of luck I could have stopped one of them. This time around, in 1994, things went much better. Ravelli's superb goalkeeping and the fact that he actually appears to be enjoying himself made him one of the most popular figures of USA 94. I have to try and maintain the balance so that I don't become too much of a clown or entertainer during the match. You have to keep your concentration during the game. But it's in my nature to entertain and the crowds want me to do it. They want me to dance and do cartwheels. But I have to keep my concentration. Yeah, yeah, thanks. That's all. Swedish media and by former national keeper Ronnie Hellstrom. But clowning around does perform an important function, helping to prevent his nerves from interfering with his concentration and preparation. At 35 years of age, the entertainer is also a veteran. And at IFK Gothenburg, where he's played since 1989, he's an important link between coach Gustafsson and the young players. The blend is highly successful. They've won the Swedish championship for three of the last four years and recently beat Barcelona in the Champions League.
Han är mycket engagerad. He's a very easygoing person. And he's also a great competitor. Someone who wants to win at whatever he plays. That's why he will carry on playing for a long time due to his interests in competing and winning. He looks like a lion who hasn't been fed for a couple of weeks. His eyes are always sparkling and he growls at the guys defending in front of him. But it's only because he's so wrapped up in the game, so he don't mind him doing it. Ravelli lives in Mon Luca on the outskirts of Gothenburg with his wife and three children. The fan mail he's received every day since the World Cup hasn't gone to his head and he remains down to earth. He replies in person to everyone who writes to him. While Ravelli may be a lion on the pitch, when he's at home with his kids, he's just a big pussycat. That's a small. He's going to. What are the names? Yes, Senoria. That's Christopher. He may be a World Cup hero, but like all of the Gothenburg players, he has a job outside of football, working as a salesman for an electronic components company, which he will probably move on to full-time when his playing days are over. At 35, Ravelli is in good shape, apart from a minor knee problem and he probably has another five years at the top. Next year, he's likely to break the record for the most international caps, 125 held by England's Peter Shilton. A move abroad is still a possibility. It's a surprise to many that despite his international record, he's one of the few top-class Swedish players never to appear for a foreign club. I'll probably continue to work in football in some way or another, either as a coach or another position within the club, then I have this salesman's job here, which I might well continue. If any foreign clubs want me, I'll look at their proposal. But I'm not too bothered. I like it here in Gothenburg, and I love Sweden. when professionals are becoming less and less accessible, separated from the public by wealth and fame, Thomas Ravelli is the perfect reminder that excellence, entertainment and fun can still be a winning combination. Thomas Ravelli, a true character and soon perhaps a world record holder. Next week in Football Monday.